This video is a quick walkthrough of an example sustainability strategy map. And in particular, I'm going to tell the story as you might tell to a new stakeholder, a new employee, a new executive. So overall, we understand that our corporate strategy is about being the customer supplier of choice by providing a quality product with exceptional service at a competitive price. And that's the job of us, the company. Now, to achieve that, we live within society. So we have to understand what are the impacts on society of the work we do and what we need from society in order for us to be successful. Likewise, we are also part of the overall world or environment. And so we have to understand what we need from the environment to be successful and what we need to give back to the environment. So this is what some people call the triple bottom line. Let's take a look at our business against those three bottom lines and understand we're now looking for that new break even point where we're taking and receiving in balance. So on the company view, we're going to use the best practice of the balance scorecard to understand what we need to do. And our overall strategy looks like this. Obviously, we have to achieve financial success. To do that, we need to make sure that we meet our customers' needs. And if we meet our customers' needs, they'll pay us for it and we'll achieve financial success. In order to meet those customer needs, we need to build the right internal processes, have the right activities going on to meet the company needs so we can enjoy financial success. And then beneath that, of course, are the people that work in our organization. And it's our people that we learn, develop, and grow to build and maintain our processes to make our customers happy to achieve financial success. So there's a cause and effect relationship up and down this, but there's also one side to side. For example, we recognize that people that work for us are just part of society. And in fact, our customers are also just part of society. And the work that we do impacts both society and the environment. So across these six perspectives, there's going to be our strategic goals and a flow across them. Now, overall, for each of these three areas, we have some goals. So overall, for society, we want to make sure that the work we do improves society at large. Financially, obviously, we need to continue to grow and be profitable in order to add value to the environment, society, and our customers and employees. And then our core environmental goal is to make sure that our products do no harm, either in their manufacture, their disposal, or their use. So let's take a look at how we get there. Overall, what we want our customers to say is that we are their vendor of choice. And if we're their vendor of choice, ultimately, of course, that will lead to profitable growth. Now, to become their vendor of choice, there's actually four things we need to do. First, we need to improve their well-being. And if we improve their well-being, that will help us become their vendor of choice. We need to make sure that we provide great customer support. And if we do that, that will help us become the vendor of support. What we also have to do, though, is make sure that we support the communities that we work in, that our customers are in, and that our suppliers are in. And if we support our communities, our, our customers will understand that, and that will help us be their vendor of choice. Now, the fourth thing that we need to do is an internal activity. We need to provide great value. And if we do provide great value through the products and services we offer, that's going to help us improve our customer well-being. It's going to help us become the vendor of choice and will help us provide great customer service. So one of our core internal activities is providing great value. And again, to do that, there's four things we need to do. First, we need to continually innovate our product offerings to make them more valuable, more interesting, to provide great value. We also need to continually improve our operations, make sure that we are doing our work better, and that will help create better value. Now, operations have a huge impact on the environment. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our operational inputs do no harm, so what we consume, that our water is consumed in an economically and socially acceptable way uh, and so forth. We're reducing our carbon footprint and so on. And that as a result of our operations, our outputs and effluents do no harm. The third element 
is understanding and anticipating our customer needs. And if we anticipate our customer needs, that will help us innovate our products. It will help us provide great value and will guide us towards where we need to improve our operations within these other two constraints. And then finally, we need to make sure in a broader societal sense that we are ethically conducting our business. And if we do that in our internal operations, that will help us provide great value. Then underpinning this, of course, is our people. We need to make sure that we ensure our employees' well-being, that they're paid a reasonable rate, they're not suffering discrimination, they live in a, and work in a safe environment. We need to develop them, build their knowledge and capabilities, and finally provide uh, a culture and live our values at work. So this becomes what we call our sustainability strategy map. It describes what we need to do as an organization, but also how we need to live and thrive inside society and the broader environment.